Oh, my mates. My name's Captain Cordell, and today we're back again, continuing our adventures into Franbo. So, last time, we got this key, to which I have no clue where the hell it goes. Because we tried this door over here and that door over there. So, this episode, we gotta prioritize finding this key, getting into a new era, er, area, possibly, and then from there, exploring that area. I don't think there's anything else we can do here. And I highly doubt this key works at this door here. Maybe, maybe it's not. Okay, the key doesn't work here. Huh. You know, today is a great day. Today is a absolutely fantastic, beautiful day. And I'm actually glad that I'm able to come in and play some more Franbo, because I'm enjoying this series. Uh, I think I talked about it a little bit during my first episode, but I've been wanting to play this series for a while. I just didn't know when I was going to be able to. And it was requested, so I figured, hey, it's perfect time! Uh, I was kind of hoping that we could, like, see what the, the tag on the key was. Because I see those little plaques there. And I was hoping that the, the key would have, like, a little plaque. Like, uh, exterior door or some something like that. We've tried both of those doors here. Do you think it goes to the water closet? Maybe it goes to the water closet. Let's try it. Okay, no, it doesn't. And it shouldn't go in here, should it? Or is this locked here? Oh, well, no. Then again, that would kind of be a stupid idea, you know? Why would you lock some some kid's drawer? Oh, I got the key. Maybe he can tell us. Did you find the doctor's code yet? It's in the office. Oh, we're looking for a code. Why do we need a code again? I don't know. It's been like a couple days since I actually came in and played this game. So, uh, yeah. I have no clue what the hell's going on. There's a code here. Maybe it goes over here. Had all the keys. It's a yellow typewriter. The book. Let's look through his mail. Okay. Aha. Mental Health Global Week. Uh, twenty-four, seven, twelve. That looks like a code to me. Where? Oh, there they are. Okay. Is that the only thing that I can actually say? Confidently, that would be a code. So 24, 7, 12. Uh, let's take a look around here. Alarm code, December 17th. Okay, maybe that's not the code. Is there anything else here that we can click on? Okay, no. Well, let's get the hell out of here. Uh-oh. Oh, it's Phil. What's good, Phil? A forgotten girl with no family or cat will die when the moon arrives. Wow. Thanks, Phil. You little asshole. He doesn't work here. Okay. With a sudden change in, uh, change in tone. Alarm code. December 27th, July 25th. Uh, okay. Dr. Marcel, turn off the alarm from the security system panel in reception. The yellow door will remain open for two minutes until the code reactivates. Or until the alarm reactivates. Alarm code December 20 or 17th, July 25th. Is it talking about those specific dates? So, is it. 1725 is the code or are there events on the 25th and the 17th that correspond to that code I really know what this is yeah but it was open so is it gonna open again or yay we're figuring things out. Oh, the wind hole. I guess this is my way back. I wonder if Phil knew about this. 
I don't think Phil knew about this. I think Phil is trying to get you killed. Or caught. Or both. Oh, that hat really hit it. That rat. That rat really hit his head. We should give him a hand. No, no, we shouldn't. We should be wary about it. No. Kind of anticlimactic, if you ask me. Uh, do you not see this giant hole right here that I'm circling? Oh, uh, I guess you don't. Okay. Why not? Hmm. Intriguing. Where am I now? I guess I'll have to find out. Yes, open your eyes. That'd be the first logical step. Thank you. Let's let's take a look at these. Cleaning products. They should clean our toilets. I wanted to wash my hands. Why the hell would you wash your hands? A mop that will dance on the floor. What about this broom here? Nothing other than a blanket. What about this one? Box is open. Let me see. Uh, bad pills. I can just take them. I just take them to find my kitty. Yellow pills, huh? They look more fun than the red ones. Okay. What? What? Oh. The patient... 25062001 or 915000 is our current target. Target response is positive. Now expanding the triggered gland. Dose is... Here's a container, so it looks like the approved variant of Dolchin. I could take it and taste it, but I don't want to. Okay. Are they trying to do something to Fran? I don't know what they get out of doing this. Ah! Ah! You again. If you struggle, you know that you know what it was. I Well, I hope they read that right. I will be in every corner to make you suffer and cry. If you choose to disobey, your cat's life will be marked. Well, you're just a little bun, a little sunshine, ain't you? I love these cutscenes. Oh my dear kitty, we'll soon be together again. I promise. I miss you, my dear. I miss you so, so much. Wow. That's dedication. Why are you leaving? Please don't leave me alone, Mr. Midnight. Huh. A labyrinth. At the end of the maze, Fran. I'm gonna jot something down. I don't know if it'll help me later, but I did a quick little look over of that maze. And it looked like right was the way to go. Wait, you're talking through your... Oh, okay, no. The monster won't let me go home. But if I find the maze, maybe I can find Mr. Midnight. Okay, now can we make use of these yellow pills? Oh, okay. What, what happens if we pop a pill here? Oh. Colorful. I love what they're doing with a shade of... Red. What an interesting development. My path to life has been denied. I haven't been born, but I was alive. I'm waiting for mother to love me. Can't blame those who are ignorant, but you can't let ignorance decide. Life will teach you even through pain and tears. Yeesh. Well, what's it is here? Operating room. Uh, failed in aesthetic. The patient woke up after re reaching frontal lobe. The procedure was canceled and incompleted. Oof. Okay. Sir, wake up. Ugh. Well, uh, I can guarantee you that this hospital is getting a terrible Yelp review. Ouch. Hope they get well soon. IT ward, what? Huh. 
that's your response. You see someone missing half of their skull and your response is, oh, why do you have your brain out? Like, it's a natural occurrence. Like, you're walking down the street and some guy has his brain out and you're like, oh, Jonathan, you naughty scamp. Why is your brain out? What kind of hell? What, 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 what kind of reaction is that, Fran? Come on, work with me here. I know you're young and all, but... Now is not the time for trash talking and bullshit. Oh wait, no, I have to, <laughs> I have to click the little arrow. Friend Bo, no, I haven't seen her. What, the key to the cellar? Well, no. At the doctor's office, he used to have the key there. Calm down, the key is not here. Sure, I'll let you know if it turns up, but you must calm down. Yes, I'll bring it to you if you find it, alright? Bye. Oh my goodness, I can't believe this. I'm at the reception already, this is grand. But the nurse, I have to get rid of her. Yeah, get rid of her. You know. Or like throw a rock or something. Ooh. Ah, oh, that's the uh place where we input the code, probably. We'll just throw this at her. <laughs> just there doing her desk work and all of a sudden she gets hit in the back of the head with a with a drug cinnamon bun. And logic ensues, so she's just like, ah, hey, you know, I have no clue where this random cinnamon bun came from, but I'm just gonna scarf this down right quick. Easy as that, right? Easy. Huh. Okay, so it's been about like 10, maybe 30 minutes. And uh, all this time I didn't think to pop a pill in here. So now Fran is just, ooh. So now she's just, uh, I don't know if this is going to work or not. Does this, what? What? <sighs> what do you mean that's the answer? All right, yeah, sure, why not? I better take it back. All right, but bye, bye bye. I have no clue how the heck that works. All right, yeah. Let's see here. Four digit code, right? How about. 1725. Alright, how about 12, uh, 17? So, I've got a couple guesses. The original code that we had, uh, 1725, 12, 17, 0725, they don't work. Um, I noticed that. They have the um, letter registration on it, you know, A, B, C for two, D, E, F for three. So I tried spelling out some, you know, some simple, uh, some simple words, uh, door, open, stuff like that. That didn't work. I've got a couple more ideas, but aside from that, I'm not really sure. It's a four-digit code, so it's not going to be longer than longer than four digits. So we have both December. In this note here, we have December and July. December is the 12th month, and July is the 7th. And we have also 17, and we all have 25. So, um... Maybe if we add them together. So that would be 29. And this would be... What? That would be like 30... <laughs> Too, wouldn't it? Yeah. Okay. So. Yeah. Did some fiddling. I did some fiddling around, and it looks like the code might be twenty-three or twenty-nine thirty-two. Because I've tried everything else. I've tried the initial code that I thought it was seventeen twenty-seven or twenty-five, twelve seventeen o seven two five. I also tried spelling out some some numbers or not some numbers. I also tried. I've got one more shot at this. I've, I'm at a, I'm at a, I'm at a crosswords. I, I actually can't figure, figure this out, and I might need to just walk away and think about this puzzle for a little bit, because I've tried everything. The initial code that I thought of, whenever I was first looking at the the, the piece of paper, seventeen twenty five. I thought about that. That didn't work. 
0725, which was, you know, July 25th, and uh, tw uh, 1217 was December 17th. So those, both of those didn't work. Um, I noticed that there were letters here, so I tried spelling some words out. Door and open were the two first obvious ones. Um, I didn't think help would actually work, actually. Yep, wouldn't think about it. The last thing that I actually have that might do it for us is I added the numbers together and got the code 2932. Ah! Alright, cool. Well, why not? Uh oh, that doesn't sound too good. But we deactivated the code. What? Lies! You little bitch, I'll make you pay for what you did. Not if I just walk away. Jesus Christ! You clever little girl, do you think you can just leave? I mean, I got through the door, didn't I? What is that? It can't be. No! What the hell's going on? So, is he actually dead? I don't know if he's actually dead or not. And I don't even think we have to navigate this thing. I think all we have to do is just follow the cat. Okay, so he's not dead. But I don't know how I feel about him being out here with us in the middle of the night. Oh, is this like a... Okay. Oh, wow, that's really interesting, actually. Uh-oh, where do we go now? I lost sight of the cat, so... Well, this isn't right. I have a feeling if we take too long that the, the guy that was chasing us would actually come after us. I don't know if I want to be caught out here, though. Yeesh. Is he going to come down this way? I hope not. Alright, cool. Now, it can't be a straight path forever, so I'm going to go right. And I'll take another right here, 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 going this way, and up this way. Seems like a really roundabout way just to turn the opposite direction. Yep. Well, my initial assumption about this maze was totally incorrect. Although, I will say, this is really cool. I honestly didn't expect this at all. Actually, could I make it over here? Yeah, I can. Sweet. Oh, look at that. We navigated the maze. Hm. Some pretty good progress for this episode, I guess. Achievement unlocked. I found my way out. At the end of the maze, you will find... What will I find? The evil critters of the night. Okay. I found them in the maze, too. They will hunt you and they will laugh. I must be telling some pretty good jokes, then. But there will always be a good side. A cat full of nuts and bolts. Will always be your guide. Who the hell was he for the first half of the maze? Oh. Uh-oh. It looks like we dropped our photo. Fuck that photo. And you guys. Hmm. Well, chapter 2, part 1. Curiosity Synopsis. Epic. Alright. Yeah. I'd say that's a pretty good spot to leave this episode off. So. We, uh, we officially got out of the, you know, the psych ward. Uh... 
we got through the maze, and now we're here, and we're about to start chapter two. So I, I'd say that's a pretty good spot to leave off for this episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys taking the time out of your day to come spend some time with me. It really means a lot. I'm enjoying playing this game, and I hope you guys are enjoying watching these videos. So, um, as always, thank you guys again so much for watching, and uh, my name's Captain, Captain Cordell, and I'm shipping out.